is ground zero for the grocery wars. In case you had not noticed, Kroger, Meyer, Walmart, Target, and Menards battle for your bucks. But will shoppers benefit? That's the question most of interest to us. So we sent Alexa Ashwell to ask an expert if this superstore strategy is going to pay off. By the end of June, this Target off Route 725 in Miami Township will have had a makeover. The chain is expanding its grocery layout, and soon a vast array of fresh food choices will be available to customers. I think it's great. I mean, it's kind of nice to do all your shopping at one place, so I think it's wonderful. The notion of placing everything under one roof is one major chains across the country are adopting. Not only is it convenient for the customer, but according to associate professor of marketing Randy Sparks, it's efficient for the business also. The more things that a retailer can put under one roof and draw customers toward, then the lower the costs that the retailer has because the retailer doesn't have to maintain several roofs. And Target isn't the only store utilizing size to drive down its costs. Kroger has made a similar move. The recent opening of the Centerville Marketplace offers home furnishing, a baby department, and even a jewelry store. Sparks says this is to compete with other large chains such as Walmart and Meijer. Consumers see the brands. They see the brands, they go in, they look, they can even pick up their smartphones and they can compare prices. With Sparks adds it's a great time for consumers who are now able to be choosy in who gets their business. I like to balance customer service with price. I like Target. I like a few more of their selections as far as their non-food items. And if they had a better produce and some uh, other grocery items that I preferred over Walmart, I would probably choose them even over Kroger. Probably the price, I imagine. They will look for the best price or what you can get for your money.